This is about where I was when I started commentating for the melee tournaments, but... Yeah. I will once I actually turn my gun. Who's he against? Son? Yes. Ah, yeah, you are. I don't know. Again, I've hardly touched Kim before. Legitimately, the only thing I know is that Sheik plays the same, so it might be able to pull it off, but... Alright. I've been meaning to try out more characters, though. Alright, let's see. I love Smash 4. I'm a Brawl guy first, and then that's transferring into Smash 4. I've, I only play Melee at these tournaments. Do you have your 3DS with you? I always have mine with me, so anytime you show up in the future, make sure to bring it, and I'll, I'm up for a fight anytime. Anyways, I'm going to switch over to commentary now. Hello everyone, everyone. This, this is Jaxus. First, first things first, first I apologize if, if my commentary, commentary is lacking. I know next to nothing about PM. Anyways, Anyways, this is a match between G-Man, Zelda, and Jesse the Fox. Um, I know that Je uh, Fox plays very similarly to Melee Fox. Whereas Zelda is a very different incarnation than she's ever had before. <laughs> and I know that G-Man absolutely loves GM Zelda. He plays her in Brawl a little bit, but unfortunately she's so bad in Brawl that that's not actually an option to play seriously. G-Man just walling Fox off here with those Jin's fires. Those have some crazy mobility. They make some very solid traps. Jesse, looking to get a kill. I can't quite get around some of the traps, but he's not taking too much damage from them, it doesn't look like. But G-Man is very good at covering options with them. Like the forward roll that he just covered with... Oh, and recovery as well. Misses the sweet spot on both kicks. Not by much on the forward kick, by quite a bit on the second one. <laughs> I know, I know that G-Man also, also doesn't know all that much about PM, about PM so, so maybe he doesn't, doesn't know the time. Know the time. Wow. Okay, okay, the sweet spot appears to have changed on Zelda's forward air, but with that, G-Man will take game one. Dude, I don't know the stage list either. Ask Pinky. <laughs> In the future, I will learn Project M. I don't know it now, though. Smashville, always legal. Sorry, everyone. Sounds, Sounds like, like neither, neither of the, the players, players actually knew what, what the legal stages are. And, and unfortunately, I don't either, because this is this was not actually planned to happen tonight. Uh, we were originally just going to do PM friendlies, but there was enough interest to do a admittedly free, but still an actual PM tournament. One of our members here, Pinky, is actually going to be the one in charge of running the PM tournaments while I run Melee at the same time. So. Anyways, Anyways, moving on to the match, it is very even at this point. Um, though G-Man takes a stock very early, and with that, I don't think he's actually at kill percent. I don't know what kill percents actually are for PM. However, I don't believe that 71 is approaching it, though it might with the power on Fox's up smash. Apologies. Let's see. G-Man is getting a lot of damage off of his smashes just to punish whether run-ins or spot dodge forward or up smash or whatever it is. And, I mean, with Jesse's options extremely walled off by this dense fire, <laughs> using it as a counterattack through spot dodge, but with his options so walled off, then G-Man's getting a lot because it's a much, much easier to punish less options. That's a part of why having your opponent on the ledge is so strong. 
because they have, I believe it's five options total, and one of them doesn't really matter. As opposed to the standard, yeah, I don't even know, probably close to 15, 20, maybe even more that just the neutral game has. Anyways, G-Man is still, he's keeping his lead pretty solid, racking up some nice damage. He's almost exactly one stock ahead at this point. And Jesse's just, just not quite, quite finding a way in. in. Which, like, like most, most of what he's doing is getting punished by Dead's fire. And, and he's, he's trying to rack up a bit of percent of the lasers, but it just doesn't happen fast enough, especially with the power on Zelda's side B. Dead's fire being such a great move in PM. Yeah. Down smash also as good as ever. Easily her best kill move in Brawl just because of how fast it is compared to all of her other moves. Also, if any of the people on stream could let me know how the audio quality is, that would be great. Alright, I turned down the microphone just a little bit, let me know if that's still too loud. But, alright. Getting back to the match. G-Man has a exactly one stock advantage. Oh, almost. But this is still definitely possible for Jesse's Fox to bring back. He just has to find a way in. G-Man has not been. Oh my god, what just happened? <laughs> Alright! And with that, G-Man takes the first game.